Lured by rumors of untold riches which he never found, Spanish explorer and conquistador Francisco Vasquez de Coronado was the first European to explore North America's Southwest. Francisco Vasquez de Coronado is known for his discovery of the Grand Canyon, for introducing Europeans to the native peoples of the Southwest. Coronado was born in Salamanca in 1510 to a noble family, but like a lot of noble children, he was not the firstborn and therefore his prospects were not great. In 1535, Coronado came to New Spain with the first viceroy, Antonio de Mendoza, to uh, seek fame and fortune. Within four years of his arrival in New Spain, Coronado leapfrogged up the social ladder with his marriage to the wealthy colonial treasurer's daughter earning him one of the largest estates in New Spain. He was also appointed governor of the important province, Nueva Galicia. Around 1540, Coronado had heard a lot of stories about the famed Seven Cities of Gold, otherwise known as Cibola. He set out on an expedition unlike any other, covering 1,500 miles to the north of Mexico, coming into contact with the peoples of what is now the southwestern United States all the way to the middle of the continent, to what is now Kansas and Nebraska. Within a year, Coronado found and captured the fabled city of Cibola, but found no gold. However, he heard of other riches and continued his search. He splits his forces and explores further throughout the Southwest, including up to the Great Plains, to the Grand Canyon, so much of what we know about the Southwest now comes from those explorations. While searching, Coronado also started hearing tales of another El Dorado, a city called Quivira, filled with gold. Coronado and his men went off in that direction, getting as far as Kansas and not really finding the riches again that they were looking for. After leading one of the most remarkable expeditions of the American Southwest, a disheartened Coronado led his followers home to New Spain in 1542. When Coronado returned to New Spain, he was able to recover his position as governor of Nueva Galicia, but his expeditions were branded as a failure. He never again goes on a voyage of exploration. Financially ruined by his failed expeditions, Francisco Vasquez de Coronado died on September 22, 1554 in Mexico City. In retrospect, we see that Coronado's expedition was not a failure. He brought back reports, not of cities of gold, but of peoples, cultures, geographic realities such as the Grand Canyon. Coronado covered more distance by land than any other explorer of the New World.